Some things just have to be said to all the monkey lovers out there in England. Okay, uh, this is uh, Bob Rum. This is just a short video, really. Um, a kind of cautionary tale, I suppose. Um, it's my own fault. I, I, I do not have much willpower, as you can probably tell by now. But I do want to apportion some of the blame to my YouTube friends. Um, in particular, Mark Shabby yeah. Geek uh, and Sean Solo 8. Um, I love Masters of the Universe. I collected them when I was a kid. I played with He-Man. I had Castle Grayskull. I had a load of them. And then when I started collecting again, I don't know how many years ago, five or six years ago, maybe a bit more than that, I picked up a load more in car boot sales, and I've got a box full of, full of them. Um, so I don't need more Masters of the Universe. And when the Origins line came out, I thought, well, this is nice, it's niche, you know, it's, um, it's nostalgic. You know, they're basically redoing the same figures. I don't need to collect these because I've already got a load of them. So I'll stay clear from this line. And then, week after week, yeah. uh, I see Mark Shabby Geek and Sean Solo adding <laughs> to their new Moto Origins collection. And I'm like a little kid. I'm sort of jealous and I'm interested. So I dipped my toe with Beast Man. Here he is. Got him from Amazon. Very cheap. Liked him, and actually the sculpt is different. They are sort of smaller. The legs aren't as bandy as they used to be. They're a bit smaller. Um, I liked him, and, and then I started getting the feels for the cards again. So I brought back the memories. And then you can see they've got those little the mini comic books. God, I forgot all about those. Um, and then I saw the Horde, and I thought, oh, God. I never had him as a, a kid. I have. I did recollect him later. I thought, oh, the evil horde. He's cool. Um, and then these came on Amazon the other night. Uh, the battle. Oh, the battle armor. You know where you can sort of hit their their chest plate and it uh, it switches around. So, and I think I might be wrong. I think I paid fifteen pound each for these on Amazon UK. And then I saw Orko, and everyone's been raving about Orko. I mean, he's a bit different. He doesn't come with his uh, spinner cable. Um, but he, he's on a nice pedestal. And I love Trap Jaw, so I thought I'll get him. And then a good friend of mine, uh, as somebody that I basically, I'm on their Twitter account all the time now, is Mr. Classic Toys. Mr. Classic Toys spots all the bargains. Uh, he is the... He is the, the if you want intelligence on where to get things, he is the man. And he DM'd me and said, do you, do you want, I've got a spare scare glow? I was like, yes, absolutely. I didn't get a scare glow on the original line, so thank you ever so much to Mr. Classic Toys for hooking me up with a scare glow. So now I've gone from absolutely not having, deciding I'm not gonna collect any, within the space of a couple of days, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. I can't even count. Seven. Oh, God. Oh. You know what this means now. I mean, I... I, I, I was just... I, I was just, like, Star Wars and vintage. Vintage. Old vintage stuff in Star Wars. And then, bloody the dude. Got me into Marvel Legends. And then DC Multiverse. So I'm, I'm, I don't know I'm blaming for that probably Vern or somebody and now Shabby Geek and Sean and Mr. Classic Toys as well you buggers <sighs> they are good though aren't they alright we'll watch this space for more Motu Origins in the Monkey Lizard lair Monkey Lizards